everybody. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the 90s Guys show. You might see a little bit of a different setup here. I'm still in the toy room, but I started uh, wanted to start using my Blue Yeti mic to uh, see if the audio would be a lot better. I noticed in a lot of my past videos that the you know audio was very echoey. So I just wanted to check this out, and obviously, you know, having a microphone would be a uh, added bonus uh, when it came to quality of the video. So today I wanted to talk about uh, an interesting topic. In April of this year, uh, this will be my third year, uh, it'll be April 7th uh, through the 9th, and this will be my third time to the Squared Circle Expo, which is a convention in Indianapolis, Indiana, that uh, has memorabilia, toys, uh, tons of wrestlers to meet, get things signed, things like that. And as you know, I enjoy collecting all of those things, getting my figure signed, buying figures, getting autographs, things like that. So it's it's definitely a really good time. And I wanted to talk about today of why I enjoy doing these things. A lot of people say, you know, why would you want to spend money on meeting people? You know, getting things signed. Why is that exciting for you? Well, I mean, it's like meeting any celebrity, you know. Um, meeting these guys who I've known you know, through TV and seeing them, you know, in the ring at shows and getting to meet them in person and talk to them for a little bit and thank them for the entertainment that they've given you over the years is amazing. Having an item signed and bringing it home and putting it in the collection. And every time I look at that item, I go, I met that person looking at the picture I met that person. I had a really good experience. You're saving a memory. You know, you're giving the acknowledgement to that person that, hey, I appreciate what you've done. You know, I've appreciated the entertainment and the hard work that you put into your career. You know, it's an appreciation. And, you know, yeah, it is kind of cool to show off some of the collection and, and show your friends and your family and go, look, you know, look at the items that I have. And, you know, this is, you know, something that is important to me. And luckily, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, this will be my third year. I went to Comic-Con back in 2012. I've been to wrestling shows. I've been to certain meet and greets. I met Kurt Angle a few months ago. I met Godfather and Rob Van Dam. But these conventions have been really cool because I've been able to meet so many different wrestlers that I've never met before. And some of them I've revisited. Some of them I've wanted to meet again. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, a lot of these wrestlers are getting up in age and I may not get the chance to meet them. So anytime that I can get to meet people that I appreciated and that I've looked up to as a kid and even current, I take the chance and get, you know, the meet and greet. I, I, I meet them, and it's always a good time. Is it kind of expensive? It can be sometimes, but it's worth it. You know, a lot of people have said, you know, you can make more money, but you can't make more memories. And that's true. A lot of times you cannot recreate memories. But the ability to, you know, whether it's meeting a football player, meeting a movie star or anything like that. And the other thing that you have to remember is these are people. These are people too. So, yeah, a lot of times they have bad interactions with fans. Whether they're rude or, you know, are very entitled. They show up at airports, show outside of hotels. I don't do those things. Because they are people just like you and I that just happen to be on TV. So, you know, a lot of things recently, especially where they had that video that showed up where that guy showed up at the airport with like half a dozen things, uh, pop boxes and things for Rey Mysterio to sign. And WWE has an agreement with Fitterman where they cannot sign things outside of a regular signing. 
Uh, and I, I thought that was just rude anyway. The guy was going to sell those. It wasn't because he was a fan. I mean, he may have gotten a couple things for himself, but the rest of that was to be sold on eBay or other, you know, avenues. But I've, I've never done anything like that. I think that is very, very crappy to, to do something like that. You know, I, I go the correct way. I go to the meet and greets. Now, if I'm outside of the wrestling show and they happen to walk out and stop, fine. You know, if they're driving up and they stop and want to say hi to the fans, cool, that's great. But you, you don't follow them. You don't, you know, go to a restaurant and, and bug them and things like that. That's that's just rude. That's not cool for anybody to do. But, you know, I've, I've gotten lots of autographs and figures. Here's some of the figures I've gotten signed. Uh, this was last year. I got a Jax 2-pack of Road Dog and Billy Gunn signed, uh, which was, you know, really cool to get. Um, and see if I got anything else close. No, the rest of it's in cabinets. But I, I got, like, a Gold Dust signed, a Billy Gunn signed, a Kane signed. Um, I also got two gold medals and an 8x10 signed by Kurt Angle. Which this time I'm actually going to meet Kurt Angle and I'm going to get him to sign his book. And also I want to get signed uh, the VHS tape that came out called It's True, It's True. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter is going to be there. So I wanted to get him to sign a few things. There's a lot of wrestlers I'm, I plan on meeting. Uh, Brutus Beefcake, uh, Dan Housen. Uh, MJF is another one, and I'm going to get one of the Jazzware figures signed. They just announced, um, who did they, uh, Buff Bagwell. So, you know, it is very important to me to go to these conventions. It allows me to go for a couple days without thinking about just life in general. You know, thinking about my problems and worries, just being a fan relaxing, just enjoying the moment. And I think everybody needs those type of things. Just something to to chill out and, and forget about things for a little while. And I, I think that it's perfectly healthy for anyone to just take a break. You know, whether it's going on vacation or, you know, going, you know, and, and having a few drinks with some friends occasionally or going out to dinner by yourself even. But... Uh, you know, I, I don't do this very often, so I think it's very important for people to have hobbies, and luckily, uh, a lot of people support my hobbies. I've never really had anyone say anything negative. I've always been very responsible and paid all my financial obligations, so none of this gets in the way of that. Uh, you know, yeah, do I have a lot of things? But I pay my bills, you know, I make sure that all my stuff is paid for before I buy anything. And I've saved up a lot of money to go to this convention. It's going to be a lot of money to go. But it's one of those things where, you know, like I said at the beginning, you can always make more money, but you cannot make more memories. So, you know, take that vacation, go to that concert if you can. Go to that, you know, autograph signing or, you know, play or whatever it is. You know, you got to live life. So, you know, if, if you get the chance to go to a meet and greet and meet somebody that you want to meet, do it. You never know. I wish I've, I could have met Randy Savage a long time ago. I hope I get to meet Hulk Hogan. I hope I get to get the chance to meet Ric Flair. I never met Scott Hall. I I did not get that chance. I wish I could have. Uh, I've met Kevin Nash. Great guy. Um, and there's a lot of people who I could have had the opportunity to meet, but I didn't. That's why the last handful of years, anytime I get the opportunity to meet somebody, I do not pass it up. I, I do it. Um... And for those who've been following the channel for a long time, it is very difficult for me to go into crowds of people and be around a lot of people. I have a lot of social anxiety, uh, diagnosed with clinical depression, 
uh, OCD, PTSD, things like that. But being able to go to these conventions, I'm able to be around other people of my fandom. Uh, I get to cosplay, which is a lot of fun. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but it is a lot of fun. And like I said, uh, hopefully I'll film this time. I'd like to film this time, put it up on the channel, let you guys look at it and, uh, you know, kind of experience what I did, you know, during that weekend. But thank you for watching. Hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. That way you'll be notified of all the videos. I'll see y'all later.